22 News reporter Tashani Whitlow is live from Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks after finding out if travel has been impacted. Well, so far, the airport has only experienced two delayed flights. That's to and from Florida, but everything else seems to be on schedule. At Bradley International Airport, it's business as usual, even though a hurricane is barreling down on coastal parts of the country. Florida's Governor Rick Scott has issued a evacuation order for parts of the Sunshine, Sunshine State. The executive director of the Connecticut Airport Authority, Kevin Dillon, said the airport is keeping a close eye on the storm's path. Well, we have a lot of travel naturally going through the Baltimore area, uh, Atlanta, uh, Delta, which uh, has Atlanta as a hub, is a very large carrier at Bradley. They represent about 19% of our total activity. So that's certainly an area that we're keeping an eye on. Hurricane Michael is expected to cause major damage with hurricane force winds up to 140 miles per hour. Now, Bradley did tell me that they are currently not seeing any further delays at this time. However, as airlines adjust their schedules due to that storm, they will be changing things as it becomes necessary. At 22 News, we'll keep a close eye on that for you. You can check with us on air and online at WWLP.com. For now, live in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, to Shawnee Whitlow, 22 News.